This video is designed as a thought piece, and I raise this question only to offer my own opinion and to hopefully spark a conversation towards what has been the shining light of the Disney era of Star Wars, The Mandalorian. Before we speculate what is to come, let's first reflect on what has already been seen. Season 1 was a really good opening to the Mando story, and he really drew in the entire Star Wars audience, not only with his badassery, but with his mission. The mission to protect the child. We now know the child's name is Grogu, thanks to Ahsoka Tano. But one of the most genius story writing decisions ever made was making the cliffhanger of the pilot episode to not only the first ever live action Star Wars show, but the debut flagship series for Disney Plus, the introduction to Baby Yoda. As soon as the audience saw those adorable eyes and pointy green ears, we knew this was immensely important. Not only to Mando, but the whole Star Wars mythology. Yoda and Yaddle are the only two of this species we've seen from the George Lucas era, and information about this species has always been mysterious. Yoda is of course a focal point of the Skywalker saga, and one of the most recognizable and best characters in storytelling. So the introduction of a baby version of Yoda was a genius move by Disney and John Favreau. Straight away, the entire audience was hooked because we needed to know more about this creature. As the relationship between Din Djarin and Grogu developed, and as we all fell in love with their beautiful dynamic, the Star Wars brand was being slowly revitalized. As we transition into season two, and we have the introduction of the infamous Darksaber, the galaxy was only going to expand for this lone gunslinger. Season 2 was undoubtedly a huge jump in quality. The show dived into the larger mythology, and we met many famous characters who we've seen in other parts of the Star Wars story. Some people will say its reliance on other Star Wars canon was a detriment to this self-contained bounty hunter story. But to those people, I say you're wrong. This interconnected universe has been waiting for a moment like this, where we see storylines cross paths, and when you think about the story that is being told for season 2, it all made perfect sense, based off the relationships these characters have, and the climax that revealed Luke Skywalker, was the perfect crescendo to a storyline that made him the one and only Jedi that would make sense based off the story and its timeline. When you think about it, Season 2 gave us Boba Fett, Bo-Katan, Ahsoka Tano, Bev Fortuna, R2-D2, and of course, Luke Skywalker. The amount of A-list classic Star Wars characters here is frankly insane. The first two seasons were both great, and they told amazing stories that all led to the pinnacle that was our spark of hope and saviour Luke Skywalker. Getting to see this dashing young man ignite the green and come in as the saviour was so profound. This was one of the best moments in television history. Seeing the world's reactions to this moment brings so much joy to my heart, because this character means so much to people, young and old, and to see him kick ass like we've always wanted to see was glorious. This episode demonstrates such great screenwriting because you show our hero, Mando, who has proved himself incredibly resourceful and competent throughout the series thus far. And now you bring him face to face with an enemy he cannot easily defeat. Not only does he struggle, but he struggles badly. Showing how formidable the Dark Troopers are sets the stage for an intimidating face off. This dramatic moment is set up perfectly for a Jedi. Once the hooded sorcerer enters the ship 
and begins dismantling these Terminator-like foes with ease, you grasp just how powerful a Force wielder truly is. One of the best season finales in history. I would say the most iconic and best television moment ever. We've had amazing, iconic moments happen in shows before, but name me one example of a moment more impactful on pop culture and emotionally satisfying for its audience than this. This is where I beg the question. Where does the show go from here? It's impossible for the show to get any more iconic than the green lightsaber wielding Luke Skywalker. And the story ramifications will unlikely rival what we saw there. The first two seasons told the story of Din Djarin the Mandalorian, a closed off orphan who developed a connection with an innocent lost child. We saw him open up and slowly abandon his deep rooted traditions, all in the name of this gifted child. We saw Grogu develop and now we know he's in the trusted hands of the most powerful Jedi to ever live. Grogu's story, for now, is over. However, Mando's story is just beginning. He is now the rightful heir to Mandalore as he possesses the Darksaber. This is where the conversation begins. Where do you think Season 3 and beyond will take us? I believe it's safe to assume Mando and Bo-Katan will quickly deal with the Darksaber conundrum and we will salvage Mandalore after its destruction by the Empire. I think we will deep dive into the Mandalorian mythology and we'll see so much more of that part of the galaxy, as well as discover more about the Empire's dealings and the ascension of the First Order. Now, I want to be clear. Me saying that Season 2 is the show's peak doesn't mean I think the rest of the show will be bad. I actually think it will continue to be amazing. However, I do firmly believe that the conclusion of this story thus far and the season 2 finale is the peak of this show. I can't see any way we get any better than this. I think it'll be great, just not as great as this. I'm excited to see what happens next on The Mandalorian and see how all the other shows tie into each other. I do think the show will continue to be great, especially under the guidance of Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau, but Unlike a show like Breaking Bad, where it progressively after each season got better and better until it finally accomplished the best and most satisfying television story endings, I can't, as of right now, see that happening for The Mandalorian. These are of course my opinions and I've made this video as a thought piece. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree? What do you think will happen to the Mando next? I'd love to hear your theories down below. And if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you hit that like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the show. Subscribe if you are new around here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in another video. May the force be with you.